This is Paul. Uh, here's the report he's got on uh, 191 Westmoreland, the verbal, just a breakdown of how the inspection went. Okay, so Tom, um, I went through it. I got here about nine o'clock. We've been here about maybe three, three and a half hours, give or take. So I'm gonna go over the major things with you as far as major components, then I want you to read the report and then call me with questions later. Um, as far as the roof, which is I always view as like one of the most important things, it's a 2018 roof. I think overall it's in good condition, but there are two things that we should look at. There's some premature wear on the shingles. I just want to make sure that's not a manufacturer's defect and there's a way to go about that. We can talk more about it later. Um, and then there was a little bit of an incident with the dryer vent where it was probably not connected right after the re-roof and they had someone come in and extend it and then what they did wrong was they screwed upward from the roof underneath through the shingles. Just four roof penetrations I think there are with that that have to be fixed. So that's the story on the roof. A 2018 roof is only about six years old so if you figure you probably got somewhere between 12 and 17 years of life left on it uh, on average. Structurally look pretty good. Uh, they've got they've done a nice job of painting it up really good so I didn't have any problems on the outside wall structurally. Um, AC was changed in 2014. The installation of that is on uh, what I would consider substandard to a certain degree. Uh, I think that that should be looked at. That's something for us to uh, recommend further evaluation as far as service and, with. And I've already asked because of access, uh, Thomas, I've already asked if the uh, sellers can perform, have it done a um, AC uh, servicing on it because he, the car was in the way for Paul to do the inspection so he didn't get into it and on top of it the screws were rusted out so if he put it together he might not, he took it apart he wouldn't be able to put it back together. So we've already spoke to them regarding the AC they have to have it serviced and show that it's serviced and working. But that's what he was speaking out and uh, I'll explain that to you later. Okay so moving over to electrical. I don't really have any big problems with that. I do have a list of minor items that I'll put in there. Things like um, missing cover for the pool panel and stuff like that. The electrical timer panel that is and a couple of outlets that should be GFI that aren't. Um, the one major issue with electrical for insurance um, is the way they installed the car charger. They doubled into the dryer breaker. So in the past that's shown some signs of overheating. The wire looks like it had been a little bit burnt. If we submit that picture with the four point, they're probably gonna deny the insurance, a homeowner's insurance policy. So we should wait on that. That's my advice to you. We can talk more about that later. On the plumbing, I think overall pretty good. Water pressure was good. Materials in here are CPVC and PVC. So this is all uh, original plumbing materials. Uh, no major leaks, no major problems. A couple of bathroom items, I can get into that in the report, but uh, for the most part, pretty decent condition. And as far as uh, anything else going through the interior, interior looks pretty well maintained to me. Some of the uh, bathrooms can use a little bit of TLC, but it's three of them here, so the one that needs the most is the master, I think. But the rest of them, I think, are you know pretty good for now. Kitchen was okay, appliances all work. Um, if I'm leaving anything out, we can catch up on another call after you review the report. Uh, thank you for your business. Thank you, Paul. Appreciate you.